If you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PUDO at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'll be going over the newest promo coming to Madden pretty soon. It should be the next thing that drops, as well as should have been something in the game already. It is a lot later this year than it had been last year. So at this point, I don't really know what it's going to drop. Maybe they're just doing it differently, because the way this promo dropped last year, it did technically drop earlier. Because of the way they were doing it, where they dropped some um, earlier cards, such as older players that were drafted. And by the way, this promo we're talking about is the NFL Draft promo. Now, it should be coming out any day now. The NFL Draft is currently slated for April 23rd, which is, I believe, exactly like nine days from now, and it ends the 25th, but Paths of the Draft should include at least a few days up to the promo, so I'm thinking maybe it drops this Friday, which if today's the 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, it should be the 17th. That would be a pretty decent date for them to drop it, but they would have announced it already, so unless they just save it for the draft or they just wait for the whole, you know, pandemic thing to see if the draft happens, how it happens. I'm not entirely sure what they're waiting for at this point, but I do think it'll be coming soon now. But guys, before we get into today's video, we go over kind of like what's to expect from like the market, what's to expect from players, what you can be looking for in general. Make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the promo one should it be releasing. But let's over to the auction block, guys. As you guys do know, we're finally starting to get some 98s. Now, I do actually think that I, I'm pretty sure, oh, I hope so. I think that they might introduce a 99 overall in the NFL draft promo. Because besides golden tickets and Pat Mahomes, we have not gotten like regular 99s. Now, Color Smash did introduce two 98 masters. So I'd have to assume that NFL draft should introduce one of the first 99s if it's not Ultimate Legends that follow. Like I said, if it's not NFL draft, it will be the NFL or the Ultimate Legends the following week. But in my opinion, I think that the first overall pick of the draft will get a 99 overall. So I think that that car will be slated somewhere in like the 5-600k range, maybe a little more, and it's probably going to be Joe Burrow, so we're more than likely getting a 99 quarterback Joe Burrow, which is actually pretty cool because he's going to be, you know, a quarterback with abilities, we can probably have some fun with him, and you probably want to power him up, They probably he won't be powered up at all, so I'm hoping they make it like golden tickets where you can just put uh, four abilities on him without being powered up, that'd be super cool, second overall pick, probably 98, and then 97, and so on and so forth, 97, 97, 97, 96, 96, 96, 95, 95, 95, and so on and so forth, until they reach the uh, the cap for the first round that they're going to do, but in my opinion, I think it should bring the market down a little bit, a 99 Joe Burrow should bring down the quarterback market, as well as we might get a 98 Chase Young, which could be one of the best ends in Madden, he's going to be super athletic, super quick, he could be really, really good. And as well as a few other guys might get some offensive linemen. Jeff Okuda, 97. Isaiah Simmons, 97. Guys, there could be a lot of good options, especially if he's like, I forget if he's a left or right outside linebacker, but if he's a left outside linebacker, could be a super athletic outside linebacker. There's a pretty good amount of decent top options there. We got Justin Herbert, maybe. Um, Love Guy, I forgot his name. Uh, Tua. Tiger by Loa. There we go. Tua Tiger by Loa. That could be super cool if he goes in the top 10 picks, like a 97 Tua. Guys, there's some great options coming out of this draft class. Now, in my opinion, though, it will bring the market down. Of course it will, because I think there's going to be a 99 overall player. And not to mention, people are hype beast. NFL Draft has a similar, not the same, but a similar reaction as Golden Tickets. Not to the market extent, but people just come out of hiding. Like, someone who hasn't played all year who's, like, bored of Madden and NFL, but they're college football fans. Ooh, I get to play with Joe Burrow. People like me, let's say, who have, who, uh, Maybe you don't want to play with some other players. And that's like, oh, rookies. Like, oh, Joe Burrow. I love rookies for next year. That's always so much fun. New players in Madden. So it's going to be kind of fun. People are going to come out of the woodworks again. Should actually increase a few things. I don't think it's going to kill the market because not, you're not pulling packs for them. You're pulling packs for collectibles. But I don't. I still think that it will have a decent impact on the market. And it'll be, pretty, it'll be really, really fun. I'm going to take you over to the um, draft page real quick to show you guys just some of the cards. And I've showed you guys before, but I'm going to go over kind of how the stats break down works. So you guys can see. All right, guys. So you guys go. Here are the draft picks. Now, remember... These are the ones that we're currently missing. Miles Garrett, Marshall Lynch, Diggs, Harris, Brady, Chuck Benarek, Telvin Smith, Cam Newton, Keyshawn Johnson, Bruce Smith. We're missing all these guys. Now, what I mean by that is that these guys were the ones that I'm telling you guys about that came out last year, like the week or so before even the Easter promo. Like they were the path to the draft. We were getting cards here and there to kind of like substitute some time until the draft came. So I'm assuming that they took this out. And at this point, it wouldn't make sense unless they just drop them like, I mean, they could drop them this Friday. And drop them all at once instead it would be cool early round late round mid round masters that'd be super cool on drafted masters but at the time being guys here's what we're expecting to work with 
So to see, as you can see, first overall pick, Kyler Murray last year, 99 overall card, 5 foot 10, 94 speed, 95 throw power, 96 throw short, 91 throw mid, 97 throw deep, 98 throw under pressure, 98 throw on the run, and 96 play action. Now, could go deep on this card. He probably ends up with the close 99 throw power, as well as 99 throw deep, or you could put West Coast, higher mid range. Opinion, Joe Burrow is gonna be really, really good. Probably ends up with like an 84 speed, 85 speed, while having a close to max out throwing stats. Could be super, super good. Could be a starter on most teams. Then we get to the second pick, which was not actually Devin White. It was Nick Bosa, I believe. Nick Bosa, 98 overall. So it seems like they went up to 98 all the way up until, I believe, the fifth pick. Is, I don't know if I'm not wrong here. I think they went up to like the fifth pick. I will verify that in a second. But see, Devin White was a super, super good user linebacker. Cleveland Farrell. Pretty good left end right there. Actually, really good. Nick Bosa. Honestly, once again, they did not make him that great. I don't know what they have, they have against Nick Bosa. Quentin Williams was pretty solid for a defensive tackle. Pretty athletic. And then let's move on to the next page where we go to the next one. So then we get all the way to what I believe should be the sixth pick. If I'm not wrong here. And then we go Roquan Smith. Oh, they went up 98 all the way up to the eighth pick. And then Devin Bush. The ten, oh, the tenth pick. Okay, so tenth pick. This set. Roquan had a higher overall at the 8th pick than Josh Allen had. I said, that's interesting. But, as you guys can see, it went up to around 7 or 8, and then did some kind of switch here. Josh Allen was super solid with a 90 speed at end. That was a pretty good card. At Oliver Jr., obviously, great defensive tackle. TJ Hawkinson, round 1 pick 8. Oh, I see my issue. Roquan Smith wasn't drafted this year. Disregard my stupidity. I, I you know, I knew that. But it was just a bunch of young players all, all stocked into one. Okay, I was going to say TJ Hawkins. Okay, eighth pick. That makes more sense. Brian Burns, 16th pick, 96. So even if you go all the way in the going towards, I guess at this point, you can call it the, the second, uh, right at the half way mark. You're still 96, which is super solid. Let's see how far we can get down to 96. So 19th. Okay, it's looking like even going towards the 20th pick right here, you're still going to be 96 overall. So usable cards all the way to the 20th pick. So that should mean everyone like Justin Herbert, Tua, Love, maybe all these guys should have elites above 96. So it could be super fun, guys. But let's head back over to the Madden screen. All those quarterbacks, all those players, I mean, like, Chase Young. It appears going to be 98 overall. Chase Young's going to be super, super solid. In comparison to any other end in the game right now, Chase Young might end up being one of the best ones. Let's compare him to an end that we do have released in Madden at this moment. I mean, honestly, I think Chase Young will be kind of like a Jadavion Clowney type build. I'm, that's how I, I kind of see him being like this. I think he's going to have like a, 98, a 97 block shed, like a 98 power. Move. I don't know if Chase Young's finesse or power. He's really super, super strong, but he's super fast. So sometimes I don't know how they're going to do that. But I see Chase Young having like a 92 speed is like right here. Same exact thing as uh, Jadavion Clowney. And then Joe Burrow, probably going to be a similar to Patrick Mahomes type build, except for the throw power. I believe his throw power is not that great. So I think he'll have like all the same stats kind of. And his throw power, probably like a 95. Probably, but the go deep will fix that up. But I believe that's kind of what we're working with in terms of that. And then to prepare for this thing, if you guys want to prepare at all, just save up some coins, honestly. Because if you want the collectibles for the draft picks, you have to open packs. That's how they've done in, the, in years past. I doubt they'll change that. But if you want the draft picks, you need coins. You can't just, or you need coins or money, depending on how they do it. With everything going on in the world right now, hopefully they don't do money. But if they do coins, you're going to need some coins saved up. Not, 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 not a ton, obviously. You're not going to need like millions. But for the first overall pick last year, it was pretty, pretty dramatic how many coins you needed. But this year, things have been a lot cheaper. So even if it is a lot, you guys can always just go ahead and buy them. I'm not one that ever goes on and waits for the to get the draft pick. I just go ahead and I wait till it comes out. Give it like four days. Joe Burrow, 500K. If you know, if you want it, you pay it up. It's as simple as that. You get him, Chase Young, 900K total. Not a horrible bargain, depending on how good the cards are. But as we know, draft picks are not easy to obtain. And last year, I believe it was like. 30 to 90 something like that first round collectibles you like first overall collectibles you need just to make Kyler Murray It was very very hard. I don't know how people even did that it seems very impossible to me personally And it sounds like a lot of chunk of change, but it is what it is guys Pretty much it for the video. Uh, this promo like I said, I predict it'll probably come out this Friday If it does not come out this Friday, I guess they could push it towards Monday, but that would be the 20th, and that doesn't really make sense to drop me in three days. Now, what they really, really could do is drop it like the day before, but then they won't be collectibles. If they drop it that late, there's no collectibles because people aren't going to build it up in time. They also could just do the draft promo the night of the draft, like old school, night of the draft, no, the no draft picks. Like, it comes out an hour before, opens and packs. Like, they could do this, which I think would be really fun. They could make a solo challenge where you get like a random pick, it's like pick 15. You get a nat version of pick 15. Pick number one, you get an average version, pick, uh, pick number one, and they do that like as an hour, one hour limited time solo before the draft actually kicks off. 
or during the draft that'd be so cool in my opinion and then it just transforms to the pick that you get again just some food for thought there but guys about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you're new to the channel make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn the notification boys coming down the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already comment down below let me know what you think of the draft promo if you guys have any info any details and when you think it's coming i'm pretty excited for it like i said rookies are always fun gives like a little boost life into the game and some ultimate legends are still coming out of course so hopefully things go well guys that's about it thanks so much for watching i'm out peace